Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Joe Suzy back here with another Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. We left the Grove, and we're kind of going on our adventure. We need to make our way to some tower. I think it's a night tower or something like that. I can't remember the top of my head, but we got a couple of the quests we're doing. And so I thought I might explore around before we get to the main main quest objective. And uh, let's see what's out here in the wild. We ran into two other people, well three, one of them was dying. And they asked me if I was one of the truthful ones, or uh, one of the chosen ones of the Absolute. And technically that means someone who has a tadpole instead of the brain, which I am, and the, most of my party are, but that was kind of the title they were referring to a lot of you know, the, lead, the leaders in the the goblin encampment. So I just told those folks, I was like, Hey, I'm not one of them. I'm not affiliated. And they, they immediately attacked me. So probably could have played that a little bit different, but maybe I could have gotten a little more help out of them or use them as a resource. But I got another tadpole out of them. I still need to spend it. But uh, now we've uh, tracking an owl, owl bear. We found its tracks in the mud. So that's uh. Go inside this cave and see what we what we can find in here. And first off, dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Dead goblin. I'm already starting to like this owlbear. It is just a stone. I guess you could throw it in combat, but. I got plenty of other things I could throw. I don't need a stone. Oh, what's that over there? Like little little alcove. I guess you can't swim in this game. Oh, there it is. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. He actually looks much more intimidating this close up. Uh, what do I have a higher chance of succeeding at? Performance? I got a little Christmas booth, so let's try that. <laughs> it, they always... Well, no. I think that's... I think that's big cats. You're supposed to make yourself appear bigger than you are to scare them off. Bears? I think you're supposed to curl up in a fetal position and... Hope it goes away and leaves you alone. Owl bears, I have no idea, but let's try puffing our chest out and roaring. Oh, this is not going to be. Oh, I do have a scroll of animal friendship. I guess that'll get added into there. Oh, but I just got it. Nice. The beast shrinks back, feathers quivering. Hmm. Apparently, Lazel did not approve of me intimidating other living creature. Okay, well, that was pointless anyways. I should have guessed if I got close enough to it that it would... Oh, but it's just got the owlbear cubs. Oh, it's just defending. It's, it's young. Oh, well, still needs to die. Holy crap! Um, okay, did not realize he was that, that strong. Um, oh, that's right, these apparently have no... Um, alright, this is... Oh, wait, so I'm... Taking control of the axe, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's try and see if we can get it to bleed. Not quite, but ten damage was quite. It was good. Uh, is there anything? 
Can cuss it, probably not. Next attack roll has an advantage. Uh, that could be useful. Charm, I don't think it'll work on animals. Mirror image, I could, yeah. This is my time. Create some distractions there. Um, <laughs> hmm. I just noticed I don't have any level one spells with, with will. I got all these level twos, but only got two slots, so. But I think I can go back and I can I can change it at any time. Um Yeah, there's some of these I don't really <laughs> Another illusion? No, nah, it's I think we got plenty of illusions to be getting on with. immune to he's probably immune to most um, debilitating effects if I had to guess um, taste my fury Immune to bleeding, yeah, okay. Okay, ooh, all right. Glad that didn't hurt them. Ooh, that's quite a bit of damage. No, oh, go away, cub. I don't want to have to hurt you. Oh, p pish posh. Well... I won't feel so bad if the, my uh, my spiritual weapon attacks him. He's not, you know, he's not a person, so. Ready. The hell was that? Very strange. Uh, he's still good for the moment, I think. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps putting a hex on Constitution may work. And let's just start blasting. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Let's see. Probably, yeah, it'll save itself. Does this do any damage? This forced tunnel? 
Not directly, it looks like. Alright, let's just go with a melee attack. Oh, the, oh, the cub will attack me. Yeah, I'd be frightened too if I were you. Uh, oh, he's going in for the kill. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, that 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 hurt. That did indeed hurt. Sorry, buddy. What's the plan? Okay, that's something at least. Come on, guys. We're gonna act to actually have to start hitting him. Is he getting... No, it's taking off extra damage. Okay. Comes easy these days. I thought the green six was health, but I think it... I think healing is actually blue. The uh, font color. Yeah, that's where I'd go to get tech on it. Because, uh, well, Lacelle's not... She's not exactly, uh, at full health. I don't want him attacking. I thought I... I thought I had a, uh, goading attack melee. I swear I do, but... Okay, alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, the spiritual weapon is putting in some, putting in some work. All right, let's. Uh, I think we. I think. I think if we all get some hits in here, I think we can finish her off. Mm, got to do. Got to do more than three damage, because now we will get another turn. Jeez. Uh, well, at least she's still alive, so... That's it. Yeah, come on. Back on your feet. Uh... <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Not even, not even worth it. Spinning the spell slot. There we go. Well, I feel a little bad, but I wasn't gonna attack. I just wanted to explore. Head of a broken spear. Gawking yellow eyes pierced on the broken spear head. Hmm. Sorry, little buddy. Oak Father's Embrace. Order of Nature, and dead creatures that hit the wearer receive 1 to 6 radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer deal an additional 1 to 6 radiant damage. Okay, interesting. Stizzy Camp. Gosh, 
Darn it. Over encumbered nonsense again. Alright, who's got Will's probably okay, it looks like Will's got the most space available. I should give away these scrolls too. They're starting to add up. And these and these elixirs and potions and crap. Um Apparently this chest too, which has nothing in it. I guess I'll have to sell that or something. I don't know. I need it out of my inventory though. Uh, oh, yeah, supplies add weight, too. I guess that makes sense. And gold, as well, but that's... I mean, that's not that much. Cape of the Red... I don't even remember getting that. Um... Just hand over some of the big stuff. All right. All right. I just learned about this just earlier when I was fissured stalactite. Huh. I wonder if I could have hit that and uh, send it falling down. I might try using the search function. In battle, see if it works. Already, did I? Oh, oh, it was the headless skeleton I inspected. All right. Let's get down there. Looks like there's bla actually, I can climb up on that ledge, but we'll save that. Oh, uh, that poor egg. It's gonna hatch without its mama. An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. Oh, well. There we go. Let's take it with us then. Uh pork loin? Sure. That's probably useless and taking up too much space. Owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. And let's find out. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. Interesting. Oh, a glowing chest. Sealed by magic. There's no smashing this open. Uh, um, it's amazing, Lazel. Lazel, uh, her arcana passed, but mine didn't. But Arcana might mean something than just sheer raw magical potential. It might be probably the knowledge of magic, which you know wouldn't need to be. Um. Uh, ow. This thing won't yield its contents easily. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I could pick it up. Uh, apparently not. Okay, that didn't work. Made of pre precious stone and covered in gold, this chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. It is resistant to quite a few things. Let's see if I can get some more. 
Uh, for the Luna Seal, protect the shield surrounds the chest, dealing f 4 to 24 radiant damage to any heretics that touch it. Okay, well, um, hmm. Are any of us in Salune's good graces? Probably not. Take a short rest here. Replenish some uh, HP there. The war between Saloon and Shar. Yeah, for well, for sure, Shadowheart will not be able to be able to pick that up. She might get blasted into smithereens. That's uh. Where's this pork loin? This is probably. No, that's not it. Where did it go? Here, get this to Will. He's a bard. He can handle it. Maybe it may be the camp supplies. Yeah, there it is. It's heavy, but it's worth a few. Well, I hate to leave chess sitting there, but I have no I have no obvious way of opening it. Unless there's a scroll or a potion. That can uh, neutralize the ward on it. Hmm. Nothing that stands out as obvious. I do wonder if I could blast it open with magic. Let's try. Yeah, no. And luckily I got saved from it too, so I'm just gonna leave that be. Not worth literally killing ourselves over. Okay, this just circles back around where we were. Let's go back to where that, um... There's... <laughs> Jeez. It's always funny when you come back to an area you've been to and the and the corpses that you uh, of the if your dead enemies renders back in I wonder if I can jump that no okay I I forgot that actually pulls the torch out so that's good to know but, um, can I make that? Oh, cool. Nice. Can they all make it? Oh, look at Will jumping from way back. And, oh, ladies, ladies all. They're just showing off now. Um. Oh, I see. I bet it net. Yeah, I bet it just lies down under there and then you can drop that. Oh, dirt mound. Let's dig her up. Now this looks like a chest I can actually open. Eh, nothing too special in there. Okay. But it's it's cool going around to an area you know you you've gone through once, and what the hell is Will got hovering over his head? Does he have... Oh, 
Oh, does he still have Hex activated? Okay. Okay, I, that's... Just have to press it, don't have to hold it. Holding it brings the torch out. Y'all are all just... Five-star athletes, in my book. Okay, I think this seems to be... About all there is to see in this cave. Uh, in that case, I think I'm going to call it with this one. I'm going to cut it a little short, um, just because... A, I gotta go do something. <laughs> and, uh, B, it looks like I'll be going back into the, in the overworld and... It'll probably be, you know, a lot more things to do and see and all that. So the next episode will probably run really long. But uh, that's it for this one. A little quick, quick one. Just a just a short spelunking adventure in the in the cave of the owl bear. Sorry, I still feel a little bad about the cub, but uh, that's the price of um, being an adventurer. Sometimes you come across creatures in the natural habitat, but. Um, and they're standing in the way of your valuable owlbear egg. So it's uh, them or us, and it might as well be them. So <laughs> thanks for joining me again. I'll see you on the next one.